Hey guys, this is Dan with Gears and Gadgets. Thanks for tuning in. So I'm coming to you guys with a video. I actually missed this past Sunday's video. I've been super busy. I actually have boxes kind of collecting here on videos I need to put out for this channel, but I did not want to miss a video on the Harley Davidson Sportster S. This is a big announcement for Harley, and I know that I produce a lot of Harley Davidson content, and I can't go without making some sort of mention of the bike on this channel. Now, I will say, I have actually watched a couple of other videos. I did see uh, Shade Tree, Marvel Kid 87, um, and Chase on Two Wheels. I'll link all those videos uh, down below. You can go and check them out. I suggest that you do. What I do want to say is that I do tend to take a bit of a different approach on a lot of these review videos because we all get inundated with... Uh, people just kind of reading specs and general opinions of the bikes. I tend to really agree with Josh, uh, Shade Tree Surgeon, and he said, you see a lot of comments of people that kind of trash on Harley Davidson. A lot of those people are probably not buying the bikes anyways, and I'm kind of one of those people. When it comes to the sports stress, it's not a motorcycle for me, so I'm not going to judge, I guess, whether I like it or think it's right or wrong. Or Again, not the bike for me. I'm not in the market for a sports stress. Personally, I like the bike. If you don't, fine. That's It's all subjective. It really all comes down to whether or not the bike sells. And then what I wanted to talk about with Chase on two wheels, it's not lost on me that he's going to a press event a launch in uh, next week, I believe he said, in L.A. And this all just kind of goes back to a video that I actually dropped October 18th of 2020. And that video was all about me talking about how I think Harley Davidson should approach the, I guess, YouTube space or social media influencers and seeing that Chase on Two Wheels is going out for this press launch in LA next week on the tail end of Jess, her two wheels, getting Harley delivering actual demo bikes to her house, not from the dealership, but from Harley Davidson themselves from the way I understand it. It's everything I said in that video back in October of 2020. Makes me start to believe that Harley Davidson maybe is paying attention to things that I've said on this channel. I think could be incredibly valuable is an extended demo days. Several months later. So I reached out to Harley Davidson to see if they would be interested in loaning me a bike for a couple weeks. Well, Harley was super kind enough to ask me if I actually wanted another bike to ride to Babe's ride out. Well, that's that. Nailed it. Another thing I think they could do is social media events. So people can actually come to the events and share them on social media. Several months later. We might be turning a, a new tide. Harley reached out and asked me to come do a press launch. Nailed it. So I'm just happy to see Harley Davidson getting somebody like Chase on two wheels, who is not a Harley guy, out to the event for the Sportster S launch, getting him on this bike on the Revolution uh, Max motor and uh, really trying to get the attention of people outside of the Harley-Davidson world. You know, the echo chamber of Harley-Davidson is getting smaller and smaller as the years go on, proof in the sales. And it's important that I think they reach out to other people that are riding, say, sport bikes and things like that. So I'm happy to see them doing that. Now back to the Sportster S, and I guess my general assessment of it is... Personally, I don't think it's a bad price, $14,999. I know a lot of people are going to be balking at that price, but what I've seen in modern, I guess, motorcycles with Harley Davidson is something that I've never seen before and something that we've never seen before, which is the perceived value. I have no problem with prices being higher as long as the things you're getting are there. And with the Sportster S, for that $15,000, you are getting the Revolution Max, which I rode on the Pan America. It's an awesome motor, 121 horsepower. It's a 500 pound bike, which isn't super crazy as long as it's weighted appropriately. That four inch TFT display, Bluetooth connectivity, uh, RDRS for stability and all LED lighting, which everybody has been saying, including myself for a long time, and cruise control. So you are getting a ton of motorcycle for 15 grand. Honestly, I think it's a bargain at that price. Now, sure, it's not an $8,000 motorcycle, but I think it's pretty clear that Harley Davidson is saying we don't necessarily want to be the cheapest bike, but we do want to have great products. I also think that the Pan America S, especially at 20,000 change, maybe 22 once you put bags on it and things like that, uh, that you're actually getting incredible value. I think that Harley Davidson is turning a corner. And what this uh, Sportster S specifically tells me is you better be getting excited about the future of the touring bikes as they stand now. I hope to see, and at this point, I think it's pretty safe to say it's coming, that they're going to have a Revolution Max bagger. I am super excited for that bike. I hope it comes in somewhere around the 600 pound mark. 
And I'm just excited to see what Harley Davidson is doing. Um, I think that what they're showing right now is that there's a potential future for a performance bagger with the Revolution Max. And now I, I can already hear people and see the comments coming about how that would be the worst thing they can do. I still think they should continue making a Milwaukee 8, uh, I guess call it touring classic sort of motorcycle where it is still the air-cooled touring bike. But on their website, as of right now, they have bikes and they don't have it listed as Sportster. They have it listed as Sport. So do they start just having a whole line of sport bikes themed bikes with the Revolution Max around their current platforms. I also noticed as I'm making this video, they've changed the wording to Grand American Touring, where they have all of the M8 bikes for the touring line. So do they have Grand American Touring and then Sport Touring bikes in this list? I think it's coming, guys. I really do. And I'm really excited for that. Uh, I made a video recently about how I really wanted to buy that Pan America Special. If I didn't have my brand new truck coming, I would have 100% done that. I still think I'm to the point now of maybe waiting for this new touring bike, which is coming. I know it's coming. Um, uh, mark my words. Come back. Tell me I'm wrong if you want, but uh, I'm really excited for the future of Harley Davidson, what they have coming down the pike. They finished off this Sportster S, and the quote is something that I thought was very interesting as a takeaway. Now, their actual whole presentation, it's still a lot of fluff and story, stuff I don't really care about, but they did end it by saying, we're really not adding the next chapter to that story, but we're adding the first chapter to the next book. I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think? Again, I, I just like to approach these videos when these releases come out, especially on a bike like the Sportster that isn't really something I'm in the market for. So I don't want to just spew off a bunch of my thoughts on something that I'm really not putting money down or even considering or would consider putting money down to buy in the first place. Not the market for me. Uh, so I just like to take a, a different approach to these videos and just step back and kind of look at the bigger picture and just kind of see what this might mean for future products coming from the motor company. So again, let me know in the comments down below, what do you guys think? Uh, I'm really excited about what I see here from Harley Davidson uh, in this release uh, in the Pan America, the Revolution Max in general. Uh, it's an awesome platform and I just see a very bright future for Harley Davidson. And I see a bit of an embrace coming from people that are currently outside of the brand now. And that's going to be what saves Harley Davidson's bacon going further in the future. So I'm pretty happy with it, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in again. I'm sorry I've, I've been a little bit uh, light on content lately. It's been rough, but uh, I will get back to, I guess, what you guys are used to seeing out of this channel in the future. So thank you guys very much for tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in, please hit that subscribe button down below. Remember, likes go a long way to support the channel. I'll see you guys next time.